Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at the heart of the Dragonborn today. And it's a vast palace really. I'll show you where we are on the map. Uh, here's Whiterun and we're here to the west. And you can fast travel here straight away. And this is what you see when you get here on the outside. There's a few guards. This world is incessantly magnificent. <laughs> and a stable with your horse, Ellie. Really nice, posh, alien stable. Look at this with carrots and apples she's got. Nice shelter for her. And then to get in, it's just through the portal. It's quite magical. Oh, and when you come in, just the sound of the birds in here, it's really gorgeous. And I'm in my LE game, but you can have this for SE as well. There are 38 NPCs in this place. They all have jobs, they all go about their daily business, take meals together. Look at how the mountains draw in and out as I turn the camera. That is very weird. I've seen it before with other mods. And the place is pretty big. That over there is your temple um, building. I'll do a quick tour around the outside. This takes you to the main home in there. Off here is a huge vampire lair buried in there. And I, I will take you into there, but around here, there are more soils than you would know what to do with. I mean, forgive me for what I have done. Give me the strength to begin the deaths in this life. Dude, we're nowhere near the temple. So this is just one of the huge gardens. And there are auto sorting chests everywhere and a master retrieval chest with a button. So handy. There's a farm, cows, chickens, a mine. And the mine entrance is just down there. You can get to it from the inside of the hall as well. And the same with the temple. I had this in my old SSE playthrough. Excellent farmyard noises. And there's a working mill. Loads of places to sit out. And just enjoy this gorgeous land. I would... Ah, oh, I'd have this in real life, for sure. Not the actual home, because it's far too big for me, but these grounds, love them. Oh, it's ever so peaceful. Imagine just sitting out under this gorgeous tree. I'll show you the temple first. It is quite stunning when you come in here. I've got my travel lantern on, but unfortunately it doesn't make that much difference. It's actually quite dark in here. Look at that, that is beautiful. And all the shrines are here. Plus a bunch of monks. Hmm. Hi Penelope. And they have quarters. Yes. Which are really nice. There's also a tunnel entrance. That that will take you to the vampire lair. And down here is where all your worshippers live. Which is also very nice. I'm loving this fire pit in the middle. You can imagine them sitting about here, relaxing on an evening. Love the little baby planters. Somewhere to eat in all their beds. 
Crafting in this place is insane. You'll find it everywhere. In the vampire quarters, here, as well as in the hall. You don't have to go far. Ooh, foggy. Evening's coming. So, mine entrance over here, together with another smithy, there's also one indoors, obviously. More than one, actually. <laughs> like I say, the crafting's mental. I'll show you the vampire area, which is very cool. So it's also pretty dark in here, but here you would expect it, I guess. I love the gargoyles. They're not overdone. And all the green that really lifts this dark grey stone. You'll find a bunch of cattle and thralls in here. More crafting, ingredients, food. Hellhound called Teeny. Wow, you are ugly. <laughs> Need something? And this leads to a tunnel. I'll oh, I'll shoot you now before I forget. And in here you'll find all the standing stones. As well as a portal to Raven Rock if you found the key. Which I can't remember where I got that from now. <laughs> I will check and make a little note on the screen. You can also get to the house that way. Big practice hall and jails. But this by itself, you know, you we'd never have to use the actual main hall, would you, if you were playing through as yes. a baddie or a vampire? Good afternoon. And he goes bored, he always does that when he's bored. So sleeping quarters, including... Coffins. And the uh, vampires in here do use them. <laughs> Yikes. That's quite terrifying. This doesn't look safe. I agree. It really doesn't. What time of day is it? I don't know. Guess they'll be getting up soon. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, in a nutshell. This is your dark area. Literally. Okay, and then... Wow, it's really funny when the music just stops dead. 
And then, you're home. Oh, everyone's knocking off. Yes. Speak. Okay, so, of the 38 NPCs in here, some of them are vendors, some of them are followers, some of them are trainers. All right, then. So, you know, just... Here for work. Max and bring me all the wood you can chop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know uh, who does what at the moment, but just speak to them and you'll soon find out. And when you come into this vast place, over here on the left-hand side is your children's quarters. And there's room for six of them. And then round this side is where you hang out. It's kind of bare looking, I find. It, you know, for such enormous rooms. Are we prospecting down here? He thinks we're underground. There's running water, which I love. I love me clicky water. I'm not going to go into the bathroom because it auto strips you straight away. But and Inigo, and then you don't get dressed again. <laughs> so there's a loo in there, it's very dark. For all that it's right under the window, but there's a loo in there, as well as the shower. So, big quarters, and you know, they're nice. And then, the people that work well, here man I'm glad to see. do use the pool. Which is very nice. You've got two platforms, one off to the left and one off to the right. This is your... There's um, a dining area. And a library. So they all take their meals up here. And a big bar. When these people talk to you, they <laughs> some of them say things like, hey, cheese brain, and hey, melon nose. Very rude. Obviously don't know who you are. It did make me laugh. So, the sorting, the um, storage, is pretty impressive. So, you can see it's all themed. I find the house a bit dark, personally. I'll just check my brightness. Yeah, it's pretty high. And up a bit more. It hasn't really made much difference. Perhaps it's just my monitor. Uh, there's a bard here too. Oh look, they're all going for dinner. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the bard, oh my god. Never shuts up. Oh wait, I've come the wrong way. Oh, there's a surprise. <laughs> One room and I get turned around. It's embarrassing. Okay, lots of options. There's an armory and a unique armory. Tunnel again. I'll show you the armory. It's impressive. So this is for all your generic stuff that you might collect. You know, old suits of armor that you've got bored with and upgrading. Weapons, etc. And then there's a unique one. And this has, oh my goodness, I don't even know. How many items from the game you can store in here? 
I have literally done nothing yet. I'm level 9, level 10 maybe? I haven't even been to Bleak Falls Barrow yet, so... But you can see... Spaces for all sorts of things. Death brand armor. Your black books. All the weapons, jewelry. And this place goes on. Oh my god. So yeah, it's kind of like um, a bit of competition for the Legacy of the Dragonborn Museum, I think. If you didn't want to install that. Which I haven't done on this LE game. So crafting, um, poof. there's also a dedicated mine, which is quite vast, and has miners in it. It's, you know, pretty groovy place. I won't take you around all of it because it is big, but... You know, you can see all the uh, people that work in here, all the miners have knocked off, gone for dinner. Not a terrible place for them to work. There's also, um, oh no, nasty. There's also a whole bunch of, um, what do you call them? <laughs> oh my god, I've lost the power of speech. Alchemy tables and um, enchanting, oh here we go, enchanting labs, etc. Why are we in this hole in the ground? He's not keen. Back to the main hall. In addition to the six kids, uh, you can have, I don't know how many followers in here. There are so many beds. And for the guards and staff. Big kitchens. With planters. Which is nice. Although maybe slightly oddly placed, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like you need them, is it? With all those outside. But still, nice to have and it'll push the place up a bit. So, resident sleeping quarters. So I'm guessing this is all the staff that live here. Maybe the main chatelaine or housekeeper. Plus all these beds. This is... Oh God, how many hours do you think this man have taken to make? I mean... can't imagine. Do you like these little planters in the middle of the room? Alright, well I think that that covers just about all the main features of this enormous place find my way back out again <laughs> which is a big if well wow. hi everyone we're having a little drink now are we oh yeah oh he's doing his sweeping God, watch over your battles friend thanks Okay, well this place has a lot to recommend it. For me personally, I could just smile on you, make do with a tiny house 
in all these grounds. <laughs> and without all these people. But it's really beautiful, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to leave you with that view. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Um, I'll see you soon for the next video. Do let me know what you think about this one in the comments. And uh, bye for now.